Hi there, and welcome to the Points of Two journal flip through. In 2010, Samantha Kara Harding and I decided to collaborate and do a year-long art journaling project. Uh, we called it Points of Two because it's kind of a play off the name, but we decided that uh, her perspective and my perspective would be very different. We chose topics each week and we, um, or we had themes or we tried different art supplies or different techniques or ideas and then we put them together um, in a journal page and then we blogged them each week on Fridays and then when we got finished after the year we had this big journal full of ideas uh, not just techniques but also all the journal pages that we completed. It was a wonderful project because our perspectives were so different, um, hence the name Points of Two, uh, because of our, our different ages, because of where we lived in the country, our different techniques, and just the different things that we brought to the table made it really interesting. So this is a journal flip through um, of that project, and here is kind of a, it's rather large, the book is rather large, but I'm going to focus on each page and try to give you some ideas on what we did. And um, if you're interested in more, there's a link to the stills for uh, each of the pages in the series. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Now these pages aren't in any particular order. I just put them together the way I wanted them. Um, this is an example of um, two pages that I actually created and I stitched them together. And then I... Uh, added them to a tab and then I inserted them into the um, into the journal. I don't remember all of the themes um, each week but um, this one was actually done digitally. I, I scanned in some papers and some other elements and then I finished the rest of this page um, digitally. The same with this one. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's actually fabric scraps and they've been stitched on and then uh, I added some embroidery. Again, these uh, are also loose pages that I stitched uh, back to back and then added them into the journal. This is another favorite of mine. I think this one might have had to do with pockets. I love this because it, uh, I found this bag and it actually says uh, or reads reuse or recycle this bag. So I definitely did that. And then here's one that's been uh, done digitally as well. And this was great. How to be miserable as a journaler. And then there's the top 10. Number one, compare your work to the work of others. Number 10, being intimidated. This was one of the first ones we did where we were to take a picture of something in our neighborhood or near our house. And these wildflowers grow across from my house every year. Lots of layers, lots of ink, doodles, borders, some stenciling here. I think this one had to do with squares or we had to block out part of the page on that one. This one's also digital. I did a nice combination of digital because I liked the idea of having some, some were done completely digital, um, some I scanned in pieces like some of these papers and then I layered them once I got them into the computer. I think this might have been a self-portrait one, I can't remember. More digital. I think for this one we had to find a piece of junk somewhere. I found this in the Target parking lot. It was a postcard and there was an ostrich on the back of it. It was really, really worn out. I, I scanned it in and then did this one digitally. Oh, that was my word for the year, discern. So we did this. This was in January. January 29th, that was when we picked that one. I think this one um, had to do with flaps. So we had to create a flap. I used an old envelope on this one to create the flap. Some of these, I like going back and feeling them because they have really good texture. This one, I believe, was our first one. Yeah, Monday, January 4th. Um, this was me. Uh, these were shadows, uh, photos we did in shadow. of my, um, Me, my brother-in-law, my sister, and this was on the beach. Yes, we were at the beach in January. I, I gotta love Florida. 
a few more here. They're not in order, in date order, as you can see. I, I'm not sure, just kind of put it together the way I wanted, the way I liked it. Um, we did a lists, lists of me, uh, was another theme or week that we did. And you can see these are these are all file folders, and and for the digital ones, I just printed them and then I glued them onto all these inky file folders. This was interesting. We actually decided to do a journal page that was on, uh, not on a paper. So we made these little puffy heart pillows and then we journaled on them. Of course, I couldn't put it in the book, so I just uh, made a photocopy of that. And that's all. That's my journal. And again, you can go back and look uh, at the archives and go to the link and see all of the pages, both of ours together. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hi there. If you're interested in learning more about my journal, the one I used in, for the points of two, it is the same journal that I teach in my Mixed Media Mayhem workshop. Uh, we do um, techniques with stencils and eeks on the file folders, and then we create the cover with the canvas, and then we do construct the full journal. So if you're interested in learning more, um, you can contact me, and I'll be happy to answer any questions, or there's a link directly um, in the information um, portion of this video that will give you um, a link to where you can find out more about it. So thanks so much.